Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Instant Pot Apple Cinnamon Steel Cut Oats. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I love to make Instant Pot stuff every week here on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do steel cut oats in your Instant Pot with a twist, apple cinnamon. It's gonna be really good. Let's get right to the recipe. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using the pot and pot method. Now, pot and pot just means you're cooking your food inside an oven safe dish inside of your Instant Pot. So the reason that you would use the pot and pot method is simply so that food does not burn to the bottom of your Instant Pot and um, doesn't stick and things like that. And with something like oatmeal, it really is beneficial to cook it pot and pot. I'll put a link to the tools that I'm using today, this sling, I love this silicone sling, and then just a pan that fits nicely right inside my Instant Pot. It's seven inches. This recipe, all you need is one cup of steel cut oats, and you can see that these oats aren't like rolled oats. Rolled oats are flat, and these are more of like a cylinder shape, and they just haven't been rolled out. So they're more hearty, they're very healthy for you. They're so delicious. If you haven't tried steel cut oats, try them out and you'll like them. Now, if you wanna make this recipe with quick oats or old fashioned rolled oats, I'm, I'm gonna write how to do that in the notes below so you can access those. So just add those one cup of steel cut oats into your pot. And then we're gonna add in one and one half cups of milk. You can use whole milk, skim milk, whatever you have. And then add in one and one half cups of water. So it's a three cup liquid to one cup oats ratio. And then I have here, I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I have um, some cinnamon and some salts that I'm gonna add in, good flavor. And then a tablespoon of flaxseed. Now this is optional, but it just, it gives it a little extra nutrition and some um, texture. And then I have two apples that I've cut up here and I'm gonna add half of the apples in and then I'll add half in after it's cooked. So there'll be some apples that are cooked and then some apples that will be given a little crunch. Finally, I have um, one and one half tablespoons of butter and I cut that into four pieces. So what we're gonna do is lower this into the pot. But before I do that, I wanna add in one and a half cups into the inner pot so that it can come to pressure. Add one and one half cups into the bottom of your instant pot and then lower your steel cut oats into the bottom of your instant pot. And then put the lid on. I'm using my Lux today. So make sure the valve is set to sealing and not to venting. And then use the manual button right here and set it all the way up to 15 minutes. Once the pot has completed its cycle, it will start, start counting up. And once you get to about 10, 15 minutes, release any remaining pressure just by moving the valve from ceiling to venting. Pressure's released, just move the lid off. And then you can lift this up out of the pot. And give it a quick stir. It will thicken up as time goes by. It is a little bit runny right now. If you like a thicker consistency, you can always um, use less water and less milk. But I'm gonna put mine in my bowl right now and top it with some toppings. So personally for this one, I like to use some slivered almonds and some of those extra apples that we saved from earlier are always tasty. You can put honey or maple syrup on top if you need more sweetener. Um, you can do raisins or craisins, anything that you like. More milk is always tasty too. It's gonna be really hot, but I wanna try a bite of it. It's really good and I like the texture of steel cut oats. They're just a little more hearty than rolled oats and they just stick with you. This is a great healthy breakfast. I hope you'll try it soon. 
We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Say hi to the vlog. Mom!